Welcome to this series where we are building up a transport empire in Transport Fever 2. In this part, what I want to do is focus on connecting up and building up Polgate, which means we're going to be developing the industries around here. But first, a couple of things. The first one is what I want to do is start progressing the date slowly forward at half speed because we're at a point now where most of the towns are all connected and we're going to need to start getting the new vehicles so that we can start optimizing lines and supply routes and the other thing i've done since the last video is i've put this connection through to south end and what's actually happening is that we're taking fuel to south end and we're getting a nice supply of fuel in here what I'm also, we're also doing is taking tools back to uh, Kirkby Stevens here. You can see Kirkby Stevens has put on quite a growth spurt in some ways. This area here is becoming quite a developed city. So it was just waiting for an opportunity to get started. And you can see here we've got quite a lot of coming here. I and mean, we've got a lot of fuel going to Smethwick. Probably a bit too much fuel. But what I've actually done is I extended the line out to here. So the, work, so the fuel coming to Smethwick here is supplying the ta this town of Smethwick and also Undal. And then hopefully, eventually, we will push it out to Peverton. But I don't really want to get too tied up in that at the moment. I do really want to focus on getting Polgate because this is our last unconnected town. When If I show you here, it's got a, they've got a little bit of interest going to Bury. So we'll probably put a passenger line in, but... I feel I need to stimulate a little bit of growth here before we worry about passengers. And I've been looking through over the industry here, and I think this is going to be a fairly challenging area of the map because we've got oil here, but it's not really in a position to supply fuel. Plus, this is our last real oil field, so I'm a bit inclined to use it to make plastics so that we can then use it to make goods in this corner of the map. But we've also got machines here and at the moment Bury St Edmunds needs machines, Holgate needs machines as their primary uh, requirement and I think Leon C, no you haven't yet developed a, a need for it. So what we're probably going to be doing is putting in, we've got coal and iron here, we've got a steel mill here and we've also we've got the ability to make machines here. The fun bit's going to be bringing these into power because we're probably going to have to put a road up onto this high level also buried in also buried in here is the ability to make food now i did look at this machine producing capability the trouble is if i come to the suppliers and we sort by cargo i mean there's only two so we got smithic silver mill up here maybe later on when demand gets very high we might be able to bring that in but we have to put a silver mine and a silver mill down here just to get this kicked off anyway let's just get into here this is going to be our priority we'll, we'll start with raw road run up. Nope. I'm gonna do is come here cut across like that what we're gonna do is put a terminus station in here and we're going to go pretty big time. So we're going to go terminus. We go for the full 320, and I'm going to put this in about here. And when the lines are going to be pretty short. Aim you just in the right direction. Mm, this, Thomas, this is going to be partly. Uh, maybe if we rotate this out a little bit, it won't be quite so bad. No, I think we're just going to have to. Maybe if we put it over here. Well, that's going to be even worse, isn't it? Um, 
Okay, we're just gonna have to live with that and run this through. And I think I'll put this in as a single line. It should be double really, but we can zap that up. It should also should be. I think we're gonna run these as standards because these are gonna be the real heavy haulers. So I don't think we're gonna need to you there and I'm certainly going to get rid of this road here I'll leave it connected there for the moment what this should really have been is a triple platform so we're going to have to come here and we're going to have to configure this up I think we're going to stay with standard track electrified. I think no way, shape, form, and description is this going to be a really heavy duty, yeah, uh, high speed train. And just put because we have two deliveries in here and one taking away oops and what I want to do is set, keep these lines separate so, see just cancel that we run in from this direction with the coal first You're gonna to have to haul up here. That. Want to avoid tunnels if possible. Famous last words, but that's the way it's gonna be. If I have to keep these lines separate, we're going to have to put a depot in for each one. But I, th I think in the long term it'd be easier to do it that way than build a mishmash of lines just to keep everything connected. So we're just going to... Not like I'm short of cash either, so. Oops. Is the end of the track gone? Oops. There, run you through there, and run you to there. Then we're just going to run you a bit closer, and then we're going to run you into there like that, and then we're going to run. We need to go through, <laughs> we're going to have to go through this little cleft here. We're going to have to come off. Aims right, we're gonna have to be a little bit tight here, so we have to try and pull this over. Actually, what we could do is run this out alongside this line so that it stays relatively neat. Then we'll pull try to pull you out that way. Here, obviously, this is a a little bit of an area that's. Oops, auto save going through. Cancel. And run you through like that. And run you. to there and then right into there and pull you off this way multiple units yes I know all my trucks are mm, uh, 
everything's getting a bit tatty around the edges but I can't see the point of sorting that out until I've got everything connected up and then we are start working on optimizing everything as much as possible we've now got this track Oops, destruction not possible and we run new there there and I think you can just run in on here so I mean, I'm not envisaging having too many trains on here, but I can see me having two at least. And you're going to come in there. And we're going to run up here. And it's possible the iron line may have three trains on it. And let's just get these lines working first. And that's the upline. Need a bit of flat ground. <laughs> okay. Actually, what I could do is work work the uh, terminal in here. Right. Let's run you and on that track. going to get the yeah, and I want a cheap train so I'm sticking with the Mikado and that's two point million this is four million and we've got the ten wheeler that's actually two million I mean actually we got the higher Waffa here higher Waffa is 1.9 and uh, we're going to stick with our the jolly old Mikado for the moment, oops, no. Now we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 250, uh, more. I think we'll stop at 262 for the moment. And I've bought that line and I haven't actually set the lines up. So line from there to there. And train car oops. Train cargo 41. Um, what we call you Colgate Coal. Yep. And what I'm gonna do is Sign you to 40, 41. There we are. Sign you to Colgate Coal. And we've got a bit more space up here. We can put uh, another depot in here. Ricardo, I'll go. I think in the case of this one, we'll try and squeeze a little bit more on as long as it stays mediocre. Right, maybe we can squeeze on another one. Uh, maybe one more. Yeah. Again, I haven't created the line. <laughs> mm, bit of a fail here. Yeah, there. There. Train cargo 41. Old gate. Uh, iron. And we're going to come here. And we're going to assign you. Old gate iron. 
we've now got these lines starting to really shift. So we've got our first delivery coming in here. It's going to take a little while for that to build up. And what we're going to do, do now is to we just check what the cargo carries the doesn't carry machines or anything like that so I can't see the point in doing that so what we're going to do now is put in a, another station Oops, this way. We could create a line through here acts as a passenger line as well. We could curve this round. Let's see if this will work. Um, so we're going to put a, this here. That. And then what I'll do is run you out like like that. You will be the line supplying the items to uh, Polgate. Crossover just here. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is branch off maybe a bit further. Like that. And then we're going to come off about here. It'll be a very tight turn. So if I can keep it above 90, I'll be happy. What we do is just curve you around like that. here and you connect you up to the outer line and then we're going to take you out there and you alongside the line here uh, I don't think I need to tidy this line up I think this will work I know I could technically, I suppose I could. Then I'd, all I've done is connected here and then broken out and come down here. I think if we keep these as separate lines, I think it will work better. Run you. And like that. And round. Now got our steel delivery line that will run from here to here. We've got the line here which will come down and act as a supply to Colgate. And what we will be able to do is come over and bring in the the uh, what we call it the passenger line, which could probably go round over this and into Polgate down here. And then that means we can connect um, Berry up. Though we'll have to put a second passenger station. Actually, what we could do is be really cheeky. When we're not that far away from Berry. We could put a passenger platform here. We could actually start the passenger trains from here. Yeah, that will work. Uh, 
and we can just put in another terminal here. Let's get you up here. And take away our line from here. Cargo forty one. Um, I'm gonna call you Holgate Steel. I mean, it's possible that we could actually. There's no, there's no reverse ship in here, is there? brief moment then I thought I could get a two-way flow going here but what we're just gonna have to do is get these to make money from sheer volume with cheap trains so we have Picardo cargo and we're gonna have to carry steel one two three four five six I think we'll go with 132 capacity at the moment and we get you 41 Gate steel. So we're going to get you running from there to there. And of course, the next thing we're going to need to do is get in this, give us the, the planks to be able to make the uh, make the machines. The question is, how the heck are we going to get up here? If we start up here. Wow. <laughs> that looks better. That looks a bit better. Looks like we're going to have to go with that. So we got a. Oops, we got a two new vehicles. We've got a Douglas T49 Skytrain. Got a feeling that's a cargo plane that's based on the DC3. We got a twin coach. Oh, that coach could be useful. Because what we might be able to do is set up a, a to start with is get a coach service running between uh, Berry and Polgate rather than use trains. Let's, anyway, let's concentrate on this first. Okay, get the road running out. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We have to, I think we'll keep that level. There. We could wiggly woggly through there, but I think we're work with the same mentality as modern road engineers. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So we now got that running there. Yeah, I can see some very impressive viaducts and connecting bridges as this as we go forward. this here put you there not to I suppose I could put that in this range of that may be useful for something and probably, and I think what we will do straight away is expand this out as we can and then that won't connect to that will it well it kind of connects to it yeah it's worked and then what we'll do is well Oh, we're going to need to upgrade that little bit of road there, so let's do that first. Um, make it look um, that in there. Right there, buildings. 
don't think there's any advantage of having this optimized one way or the other because we're gonna have to hook out logs from here be nice if we could I'll be a bit sneaky here you to there. Will that give me some extension on this? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it gives me an extension to about there. Of course again we'll have to expand this straight away. Okay. We'll start off with have CR 42 now there and we'll call you very logs oops and then the next route we'll pick up go from here to here and then we're going to bring whatever we need all the way back to here CR forty two T very blanks. And I better put a truck depot up here, I suppose would be the best place to put it. So that the get it started they won't have to go too far. And what we can do is Who's got the biggest capacity for logs? You, okay. I'm gonna put in. I really need to get this running really fast and powerful, so. Um, I'm going to bury logs. And then I'm gonna buy. Um, I think we're gonna buy. By about 20 this time, and the auto saves going through again. And you're going to go on to 42 very planks. Well, that means we have lots of trucks running backwards and forwards here. We'll bring all the trucks back to here. And you've got steel coming in. What we're going to need to do now is stimulate the supply of goods into here. So the next thing we're going to do is, oh, that's useful, but this is actually on the right side for once. So we put this about here. How far out is that? Yeah, I think that just about covers. Probably bring it back just this side. run you into very CR 42 T very machines oops not machines machines I think we're got another little truck depot down here just put you on this side just in case I need to do work with the station You. Nope. And you can go on. Very machines. So that should get this up and running. Now, of course, what I really need to do, which is what is meant to be the focus of this video, is we need to get Polgate up and running now. We're going to have to run a line down here. What we're going to have to find is a, something that we can send back the opposite way. We've got materials here. Let's have a quick look. So, as machines and materials share the same. Yeah, no. 
we've got fish and food and beer and alcohol and tools we could get some tool production going down here with something we've got alcohol over here maybe we can get a something going back in return let's just have a quick look at how pole gates laid out so pole gates little demand for machinery is up this way and we can I think what we'll do is we'll just put a road up there like that and put station I think we'll uh, I think we'll start with a two-sided if we move that up quite some way away from Polgate we can okay so if we come all the way up to here and hook you up to there and then what we can do is put the station we'll put a passenger station in about ah, that's no good it's going into the ground we have to come back a little bit maybe we'll just adjust it a little bit that way and then Wise, where the fun's going to start because we're going to have to go over the, this track here. I don't want a crossing point here. Oh, that's the station. Okay, we're going to have to go underneath. Uh, we're going to have to go and a little bit of a tunnel like that. One thing I have found is that it can be quite shallow, like that. We can put it back about there. Oh, right. what I'm going to do is just come up. As I could keep the tunnel going all the way through here, but. To experiment with how close we can get these so it actually goes underground and then we're going to bring you up like that connect to there we've got a double crisscross cutting thing going on here and going to come through here Okay, we've got some, got some tow boats. Voltrans tow boats. Certainly want to have a look at those. We're going to put passenger platforms on like that. Tracks. Put that on this side. this out like this well it's straight crossover points like that and then just run you out so you're well clear of this station and then just run you out onto this line Into 
that line and that should give me a route between uh, here and here uh, passenger train at 43 wow we're up to 43 at the moment uh, 43 uh, pole gate to Ferry. Oops. And what we'll do is we'll just put a couple of the little skunk works on here. Yeah, passenger, uh, multiple diesel, two, three. We run 60 to start with. That should be more than enough. Uh, passenger train, Polgate to Berry. Of course, what we're going to need to do now is get this connected up with people wanting to go this way. And of course, what we have to do is upgrade this road here all the way out. Why is that collision? take that out I know don't complain hopefully I will be able to get this back in like that and hook you up there right Barry's got a tram link there now auto save going through It's on the right side of town. So what we'll do is we'll just put a new there to there and we'll create a little bit of a bus line up to here and back. And public bus. Berry, call it the Berry Link, but not Kink Link. So that would be the come the Berry Link, and we got a depot here. Now we've got some nice new, couple of new buses. These are fourteen seaters, thirty-five thousand. I think maybe we'll go cheaper to start with. We'll just put, I think we'll put three on here and we'll put you on the very link. And your job is going to be to come here, connect up to here. And of course, what we're going to do is just put a nice little line in here. And I'm just going to bring you into the center like this. bus I mean eventually we will probably turn these into trams as the city grows and we'll call you the Colgate Central We've got no trucks depot down here but we can soon fix that we'll just shove the truck depot out here out the way and I'm just gonna buy game just gonna buy a couple of these little Schneider buses I think two just to be okay to start with. I mean, this is simply just to get everything up and running. And are we now producing anything here? Yeah, we're starting to produce some here. So I think as a final little shove, what we're going to do now is a line from here down to. Oops, we haven't put the cargo line in. So what we're going to do now is expand this and uh, we'll put platforms along here like this and okay, we're going 
going to put it in here because we will be bringing other items into here. So might as well put. Here comes the skunk. And again, just have to run the tracks out. It's straight. That up. That up. Oops. Now, oh, this is a different height. This could be tricky. Oh no! Always get a bit nervous when these are. Um, and I've got that there. Already got a few passengers on there. And you mind? Train cargo three, and this will be Colgate uh, materials. Okay, we're just going to start with a small train here. I think we can probably go right back to the old days. No, we'll stick. We'll stick with the Mercado. Something that will carry machines. Okay, about 60 tops. I mean, consider how quickly trains wear out in this game. There's no point worrying too much about how far. <clears throat> on. Right, so we're not going to do that. Because you can always reshape the trains later on once you've actually got things working. Of course, one thing we are going to need to do is put some signals in. To be honest, that's probably going to be the extent of the rail network in here for the moment. I think what we might have to do is try and do the rest with trucks. But I think we've now got everything kicked up quite nicely. We've got the, the planks flowing in, we've got the steel flowing in. I can imagine the fact that how much money I'm losing on these uh, lines here oh no we're making making quite a lot of money on these uh, the steel mills going flat out very St. Edmunds should be getting its first delivery of machines yes it's happy and it's already starting to grow and I think just to wind this video up what we're going to do is come over here because I've got this very aging fleet up here which needs to be upgraded so let's have a look here so what we got here this is the oil and crude and it ships so we got our new ships here so we're just going to replace them all this is the tanker towboat yeah, 200 capacity so we're just going to place you now ship coal line i think Probably won't need 10 ships, we'll just get rid of uh, 11 ships, we'll get rid of one of those. And then what we'll do is replace you with this. This carries coal, yep. Now, this line's going to be a bit more complicated. I mean, we've got six ships on this. Probably get rid of one of them. Pop down. Right. Probably get rid of two of them and oops. But I, mean, I can always put more ships back on as and when it goes. You're 27. You're actually slower than the shaft. But, but, and you only carry a single load. Ah, so I might have a problem here. But it does. Because the shafts and it's actually got two compartments ah i've messed up here i think what we're going to do is keep the shafts and on this route but we're, what we're going to do is just uh, place these oh we got we got two new vehicles that are all coming in thick and fast and i think what we'll do is just clone in the new one as well Okay, we've got a Douglas DC-4, 
and a 4884 big boy. So we got this line here. Uh, we done Spivak. Just have a quick look at the aircraft. I know I keep saying it, apologies, but if I don't do it now, I'll forget all about it. So what we got here, we got so we've got yeah, here's the DC4. That actually carries more than the DC10. And what we've got now is the DC49 Skytrain that carries cargo. So this is the one that's just arrived. I think I'll just hold off on the aircraft just for the moment because I'm not exactly too sure how this is going to work. In fact, I'd rather wait until we see if we can get a bigger airport. I think the bigger airport arrives in 1950. Although, to be honest, I'm not too sure where we would upgrade the airport. We'd have to have a look to see how busy everyone is. And then, just to finish up, where's the train depot? So, what have we got in the way of new trains? So, We've got this big boy here. I mean, that's got a lot of attractive effort, and there's a lot, but look at that, it's 2.8. I mean, I mean, these are great if you're hauling really large amounts, but you've really got to carry a, low, a big load in two directions to justify the cost of this. This is the problem. I mean, a higher waffer might be a better run here. But if you really want to haul heavy produce, this is, is the train for you. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. What I will do is let the game run on and things settle down here so that we can start getting everything running nice and smoothly and the, for Polgate to start to grow. And in the next part, we will be looking at getting some food production going up with respect to this area here. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.